All right, so it is after my procedure. Just had my portacath installed. It's on my right side. It looks like this. So basically, they ran it into my jugular, and it is installed under the skin. It hurts not at all right now. I'm probably sure it still has some uh, anesthetic in there. I remember nothing from this procedure. So unlike the last one where I could hear, <laughs> I could hear people talking, I could respond to them. Even though I had no pain, this one, I just, I, I wasn't even sure we were, we had started when they woke me up. So I feel really good. Um, I brought you Mark McKillier is on his way to pick me up. It is uh, still really early in the morning, 8.30, I guess. We're already done. I'm a little loopy, um, but feel good and waking up quickly. So this portacath is under my skin. It's just gonna let them put the chemo in, which I start tomorrow. It's a little port under the skin. It just lets them put the chemo in and it runs right into my jugular, um, goes where we want it to go. And we can numb that area before um, they stick the, the IV in. So it's very comfortable to get blood draws or transfusions. Um, along the way. So um, it'll be in for probably six months or more. Um, they said no strenuous activity for, uh, I'll have to ask them again, <laughs> no strenuous activity, like no push-ups and bench press, but walking and stuff is fine. Um, they, they don't even expect me to need any pain medication. Um, there's an incision about like this. I think they got one in my neck, maybe not. can't see is that a little incision there maybe um, yeah so that lets the chemo be much easier so anyway I'll keep you updated